Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about ALO or ALO. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. I've seen a lot of different pronunciations on YouTube, but we're going to be looking at it as a coin to mine. Obviously, it's been kind of blowing up lately. Missed the trend with mining it. We didn't actually mine any of it. However, it has kind of shot up in price and we've seen it on hash rate NO right here. Obviously, the profitability is still kind of there. We're up to a dollar sixty one on forty ninety, and then it obviously drops off as we go down. But mainly today we're talking not about mining it. We're mainly talking about the coin, and in general, are people actually mining the coin? I've seen a lot of people jump off the network, obviously because it's not profitable, because too many people jumped on the network. I think we're going to see a resurgence of people getting on the network as the price starts to go up, and that kind of brings into question like where this coin came from. So it's actually been around for quite a while. I believe it was mineable probably like a year ago and I've been seeing it on F2 pool but never actually looked into it. It's not really a coin that anyone would kind of look into because it's not profitable but when it becomes profitable everyone looks into it. So I believe that it came out of China and that's kind of led to all of this price action, something like that. Obviously it's been around for a while. When we look on the X or Twitter you can actually see it's kind of affiliated with Coinbase. Now Obviously, there is some manipulation or some money being handed over to Coinbase to allow this. They have 75 million tokens allocated from the grants education proportion of the initial supply and are being transferred to support this program. Stay tuned for how you can explore Allo and earn rewards. So mainly, if you don't know how exchanges work, they take a percentage of the supply that is guaranteed from from the developers of coins and they say this is like the list in price to actually list a coin. That's why you don't see too many fair launched cryptocurrencies actually hit exchanges is because it's fair launched and they don't have an initial supply which they can actually hand over to exchange grant programs. So like Casper coin has been you know top 25 or maybe even top 30 for the last couple of months and it still hasn't been listed on a Coinbase or a Binance. And the main reason is because they can't get a supply of it beforehand to actually use and trade with. And that's mainly how exchanges work. So you see it quite a lot. MEXC, I believe that there was funds for MEXC, like the community put it together. But for Binance, I believe it's a different thing and they want a lot more Casper coin probably to actually start listing it on the exchange. So the same thing that's happening with Allo, they have they have 75 million tokens that are allocated to the grants and education program, and this is in collaboration with Coinbase, but they've probably handed over a bunch of initial tokens as well to Coinbase to actually start and facilitate the trading on Coinbase. So we can see it here. I believe you can just swap it and you can trade it against USDT and stuff like that. So I believe it's on a bunch of others like MEXC and stuff like that and Gate.io. But mainly, obviously being the biggest one, Coinbase is the one that you'd want to hit as a cryptocurrency. So it brings into question like how they got onto Coinbase, are they closely affiliated, how much tokens did they hand over, who really knows. When we come down to the supply, you see early backers, grants and education. So this is where I believe the tokens are coming from. So at launch, it was 1.5 billion Allo tokens were allocated. Early backers got 34%, so that's obviously controlled, and they're probably going to sell off when it hits a certain price. And then grants and education, let's kind of go into Coinbase, I think, and employee and project contributors. So maybe that is people that actually worked on the coin. And then I believe that this is actually for miners, and then strategic partners. I don't have a clue what that actually means. But a lot of the supply when you're looking at this is kind of controlled by the network and will be probably given out to a bunch of people and they'll probably sell it all off. So I don't have much hope in this with the future. They're obviously going to pump it to a substantial amount because they've already given over the tokens to Coinbase and Coinbase can kind of manipulate the price. Same thing that's going to happen with a bunch of other exchanges. And I think they're probably going to manipulate it until they work in like how much profit they've made over the years of developing this. And then they're going to say, we want this much profit and then sell off all at that point. when I don't know, the token hits 20 or $30, something like that. That's normally what happens with these cryptocurrencies is that's kind of how it goes. If you don't have a fair launch, you hand over a certain percentage and then you might hand over a certain percentage to your developer fund. 
something like that and then the developers might go on and develop whatever they wanted to sell off the coins to develop so without speculating too much i think there's definitely a lot of manipulation going on on the network it might not be to do with price but it's definitely to do with how many tokens are allocated where and what they're actually used for and this kind of brings into question why would you be mining it obviously there's a lot of backing behind it so it should in theory go up in price so you should be mining it now in theory with it going up in price but i wouldn't expect it to be the next biggest thing there's also a lot of volume on the network i think if we look here you can see that the trading volume is around 21 million now i think that's top maybe 80 cryptocurrencies across the whole globe so it's higher than a lot of cryptocurrencies out there already i know that this trading volume is probably from coinbase and stuff like that and then fully diluted valuation is around 6 billion already now one thing that i do want to point out is this was i believe the mainnet launch so the previous ones where you can actually mine it were testnet token launches like on f2 pool if you had mined it like a year ago you would have been allocated a certain amount now so that's kind of where you see this employee and project contributors maybe so you contributed a year ago and then you get allocated tokens now which probably made people sell off so let's go back to this and you can see up here people would probably sell off right there i thought it was up at eight dollars on some exchanges but it has subsequently gone down and now it's starting to move back up in price to around four dollars that we see there a lot of volume going on on the network um, I don't really know what the market cap figure is necessarily because the tokens you would assume if every token or 1.5 billion is out there you would assume that the market cap would just be the fully diluted valuation but there's obviously not enough people to sell that off to so it really needs time to grow before you can actually sell off all of the coins because there's not that much liquidity in it I don't think right now but as I said, it still is the most profitable. It did dip out and a lot of people switched over to Zealous and now the profitability or at least the price has come up. So people are buying back into it or at least mining back into it. We have it for the 40.90, as I said, $1.61. I believe that that outdoes everything. So we're looking on benchmarks here. That outdoes the 40.80 soup by around two times. And then as you go down, it drops off quite a lot more. I'm also wondering why you can't mine this on AMD. So does anyone have an answer to that? If you do, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I haven't really done too much research into the mining side of it, but I believe you can't mine it on AMD. I also don't know where this coin has kind of come from because obviously it came from China. There was test nets upon test nets. I think there was three of them overall. And then this is the main net. And it seems to be used a lot in China and it was obviously launched in China. It was doing... I think private decentralized apps you can see here the emissions are actually quite high so if we go on coins and then we sort by emission here you can see it's the fourth out of all the cryptocurrencies or out of all the proof of work cryptocurrencies that are actually mineable so better than cubic obviously around half less than casper coin how long do i think this is going to last i don't know but previously around a week ago it was only at around 200,000, so that would have placed it down by here but still, it's quite a lot of emissions on a network that is so small and so new actually starting mining. As I said, there is only one pool that you can mine it on currently, which is F2 pool. That brings in a lot of centralization as well. And it has been on F2 pool for quite a while. So if you do want to learn how to mine it, you can go over to F2 pool. Personally, I wouldn't be mining it with hopes of it shooting up in the future. People are saying it's the new Ethereum. I don't really personally think that. But there was something interesting that popped up here that a lot of people have been talking about and that is Bitmain's plans to launch an Allo Ant Miner. So they already had it in the plans, which kind of furthers my point that, you know, they probably handed over Bitmain a bunch of money to actually develop this and then go ahead with the launch of it when it came out. But this was in October of 2023 to foster growth on the Allo system. Bitmain plans to launch the Allo Ant Miner and extensively utilizes zero knowledge proof technology which aims to establish a blockchain network that prioritizes decentralization whatever so bitmain already had this kind of in development i suppose back in 2023 so it kind of begs the question like where is this miner or are bitmain going to come onto the scene very quickly with a miner they obviously elected to do gpus first on the network but my thinking is that bitmain probably have this in the storage room somewhere and all they need to do is do a little bit of R&D just to get it up and running again. 
So we're probably going to see this go over to ASICs very quickly if Bitmain have already put a plan in place, I don't know, a year ago to actually produce this miner. As I said, I haven't done much research into actually what the coin does, but from outsiders looking in, it kind of looks like it's a controlled network that's probably going to hand out a lot of grants to people and companies just to get them to push the coin further. Normally we see this with not fair launched cryptocurrencies, it's kind of like how the game works now at this point. So as I always say in videos, if it's not fair launched to a certain degree, then there's not really much point in holding it for the future because it is a controlled network at that point. But let me know your thoughts in the comments if you've been mining Allo or if you're thinking of mining it and also what you're probably going to convert it into after the fact because I think it's definitely going to get pumped with cryptocurrency going up at this point but it also depends on how much Coinbase want to actually push it or other exchanges want to push it and if Bitmain come out with ASICs. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.